Paul, Lieutenant Colonel. Yes, good morning. Did you uh, we salute? Thank you very much. <laughs> so, uh, in any event, good morning to you. Happy Father's Day. Happy first day of summer. And we're talking about a big car show involving MCRD. And it, if this is any indication, this uh -huh. can be quite a car show. Hoorah! Hoorah! Exactly. Absolutely. So, good morning. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Right, buddy. Mark uh, is the uh, ringleader of this little episode we're going to be doing next Sunday, if I'm not correct. Why don't you give us the rundown and, and a little bit of information? Next Sunday, uh, June 28th, uh, a week from today, actually. The show is from 10 to 2, and we have show cars that will be uh, parking from 7 to 9 a.m. to get uh, everybody in place for the, uh, the events on, at 10 a.m. And uh, I just want to welcome the public to, um, to the show. And um, it's, it's, it's an unusual show where, um, where it, it, it's, a, it's a unique show with uh, the Marine Corps and uh, we have a, the marching band that will be there and uh, a lot of different things. We have a color guard. We have a 50-state flag presentation. So it's a pretty unique car show. It's not, not, not one of your typical. And it's the fact that you can actually cut the, mil the, the public can actually come on base yes, and, and see absolutely. this event free of charge. There's absolutely. No charge for that. Free admission, yes. And uh, we've got uh, two gates open off of Barnett between uh, Rosecrans and uh, Pacific Coast Highway. And our, our base is located right next to the San Diego airport, so it's easy to find. Marine Corps Recruit Depot. And we'll have lots of food there. We'll have uh, craft beers from uh, Stone Brewery Company, a local San Diego outfit. And so uh, we'll have a lot of things going on. It's, it's, it's going to be a cool show. We'll have probably over 300 uh, classic motor cars there for people to see. Okay, and speaking of which, let's look at some cars. You want to talk okay. Let's take a look at some cars, and we'll talk to the Marines here. I want to look at this car we right here, and I want to it. talk. Uh, I didn't see it. So I want to talk. We'll get the information on the board more about the car show. Let's take a look at what we're going to see here. I don't know where I was. I wasn't here. I wasn't here, David. I didn't see it, man. Okay, we'll check it out. What Good morning. This is a 1934 Packard. Flathead 8, 130 horsepower. Flathead? Flathead 8. Wow. Mm. They didn't make many of those, did they? That long nose is all cylinders. That's all yeah. still straight up That's and down, cylinders. man. Yeah. And these are the kinds of cars that you're going to see because what they're year? very respectable. What year? 1934. This is a 34. Now, what have you done to keep it like this? Did you fully restore it? It has been a complete restoration from yeah, ground up. Wax Absolutely. on, wax off. Wax on, wax off. If you were to sell this... What what would this thing be worth? Well, uh, give a hundred thousand, give give or take a little bit. A hundred thousand. About one twenty, I would think. About one twenty. But look at something. Here's something that's really rare. Oh man, this now, Mercedes. This you don't see very often. Woo! These are extremely rare. How you doing, sir? Hi, Dave. And your name? Tom O'Hara. And what year is this? Hot it's right? a '52 Mercedes Benz 170S Resto Rod. Huh. Yeah, what do you got What's the head? story? A uh, V6 Nissan engine. Oh, really? A V6 <laughs> Nissan? And why would you go with that? Just out of curiosity. Because it was small enough to fit in. I was just going to say, because it would fit. <laughs> Let me ask you, this car must have some kind of cool history. I'm not sure. You don't know. No, he no, wrote I it. I found it in Tijuana. You, oh, wow. Well, <laughs> that's history. <laughs> that's the kind of history we probably can't talk about. <laughs> probably belong to somebody. It, it. Hey, let's talk to we, a couple of Marines. We need to do that. Well, we first exactly off, let's talk to, to Lieutenant Colonel. He's here with us today. Lieutenant Colonel Delara, how are you, sir? Good, how are you doing? Good. You got a mic, so I don't need to stick a mic in your okay. Well, How important is this, from your standpoint, that they put a car show on base? Because that's kind of unusual. Not a lot oh, yeah. of military bases do that, especially Marines. Why? What's it uh, mean to you? It gives us a great opportunity to open up the base to the public. Uh, I think there's a lot of folks in the San Diego area and in the country who don't realize that, you know, there are events where you can come on military installations, right. and this is one of them. Uh, you know, Miramar and Camp Pendleton, they do events as well. So this is... MCRD San Diego's event where we open it up to the public. And what is MCRD for the public, if they're not aware? The Marine Corps Recruit Depot, there's only uh, two places in the entire country here in, in San Diego and in South Carolina and where we Lejeune. make Marines. So we make basically trained Marines, uh, also known as boot camp. Yep, yep. And uh, these gentlemen, hey, speaking of which, these, these drill instructors. <laughs> we look, I'm getting goosebumps. I remember. I know, we're leading to this. Okay, you can't talk to this one, but you can talk to this one. Okay, good this morning. This one's broken. <laughs> no, 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 that's what I like. Well, let me just hear you shout out one command to your Marines. Okay, just one. I want to hear it. Oh, lie, ready, move. See? See, he's, he's in training. I knew he was You're a drill hurting. instructor. Good morning to you. Morning, so being a drill instructor, how is it to take these guys and then mold them into what you want to be? It's probably been the greatest passion of my life so far, sir. It's just one of the most amazing things. I know for myself it was the biggest turnaround in my life, and I just wanted to give back to others and give them the same opportunity I had. Yeah. To begin with, it's a little tough taking all that, but I guess it works out in the end because you learn these lessons that you take with you. Absolutely, sir. Um, they get here, they have no idea what they're getting in for. Um, a lot of them aren't used to it, especially nowadays. Um, they're just used to playing on their, their video games, Xbox, <laughs> PlayStation. Yeah. And we get here and um, we turn them into men. We turn them into a... 
predominant members of society. So when they go out, they're not only great for the military, but they're great for society as a whole. Well, God bless you. So can you give us a shout what you might yell at to one of the yell new Yell at recruits? Dan. Yeah, yell at me. <laughs> get on my face now! Get on the line! Do a See, there you go. Uh -huh. Wow, why, that went right to the core. That's why you weren't in the Nice, movie. Jeff. That's why I did not join. <laughs> very quickly, we got to show these get that car right there. We were run out of time, David. Okay, very good. But look at that beautiful Roadster right uh -huh. there. I love that That one. is an amazing car. And we'll course. see all these at the show, and everything will be on our KUSI website. If you didn't catch a few of the like yeah. the website and the phone numbers, the whole nine yards. Yeah, you got it. You sure you don't want to drop down and give me 10? I can give you 10. All right, let me hold the mic. You want, you want to hey, yell wait. at me while we're doing hey, this? Hey, yell at anybody. <laughs> anybody want to yell Sorry, at me? Sorry, right. tell them. Okay, yell at me. Yell. All the way down, all the way down. Get on the deck, get on the deck. All the way down, I answer. Screaming, screaming. I answer. Screaming, I answer. Screaming, I answer. I gave you 11 just for that. All right, we're going to take a break. See you there next Sunday. Woo. Four. Really going ah, six, six. I know, that's why he was yelling at me.